hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back to let's play uh, Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion with tracks 2 uh, so did I get the backpack I thought I did I guess I didn't shame so hello huh. unless it you know turned up somewhere else but I don't see it. Huh. I could have sworn we had the backpack last time. Oh wait, we do, it's just not visible. There it goes. Ah, gotta re equip it on load. Alright, I'm also just blind, sort of. So, ah, uh, let's see. So, we're currently on our way north to Bruma. Uh, this Khajiit here seemed more than capable of dealing with that cat, assuming it ever reappears, which I hope it doesn't, because mountain lions are scary. I'm going to keep my knife out anyway. Uh, not that, uh, you know, having my knife out will help any if the bad kitty should turn its he head up. It should show up again. So we'll go exclusively. Oh, nope. Help! Help! Sneaky thief ninja needs help! Whoa, okay. Uh, uh, you're gonna be my new best friend. Also, ow. I may need a stronger healing spell here, I think. Uh, fortunately, we're gonna join the Mage's Guild when we're in Bruma, which, you know, will give me a little bit of access to something. Although, healing spells aren't really the forte of Bruma. I mean, technically, the Ruma Guild doesn't have a forte. It's, um, <coughs> you know, yeah. It's sort of a generalist guild. Uh, guild house. Hall. Ruma's a weird city. That guy hasn't attacked us. We must not be hostile, but I'm gonna stick fairly close to this guy. Uh, strong button. I've been playing Dungeons and Dragons online, and one is sneak in that game, so. Actually, I'm gonna kind of kind of sneak along behind this guy. I think I'm been detected by him, even though I'm detected by him, which means my sneak skill should go up. Hello, wolf. Hello, multiple wolves. Um, yes, yes. Attack the guy who's an actual f Ooh. wolf meat. Uh, Q Q. Use the take all button. Uh, fire for effect. No. Try again. Fire for effect. Archery and Oblivion's a pain in the neck at, at low levels. Okay. What well, didn't? What? Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna stick with the guy with the armor, and a. Awesome sword, just because. Yeah, wol wol wolves we can handle. Just. Um. Yeah, I, c I, I totally could have taken that by myself. Ha! Hey, look, that works on wolves. Ha! Ah. Because it sure didn't work on that stupid cat. But yeah, I mean, we're not totally incapable of defending ourselves. We're just mostly incapable of defending ourselves. Um. <laughs> we'll be, I'll be honest with you. Uh, mountain lions in. I have no time for your pathetic. <laughs> Butthead. It's okay. This guy wants to be my friend. This guy's happy to be my friend, thank you very much. Um, yeah. So, you know, as long as this guy continues head head toward Bruma, we'll be fine. If he turns off, well, I'll be in trouble. 
Uh, that's Coral, I don't want to go there yet. Well, I kind of need to go there, because it's got a Mage's Guild. It's not exactly a... No, we'll get, we'll see when I get there, but they're continuing to head to Bruma, so... I mean, Dark Elf can go whatever Dark Elf wants to do, but, you know. No, 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 Jerk. I mean, you know, I could probably just, probably run there by myself. But, well, we saw how well going by myself worked out, so I'll just walk with these guys. I'm gonna walk with this guy, because that guy's a jerk. I, one thing, oops, one thing I miss about um, Oblivion, that's the game we're playing, over Skyrim, is how awesome the Dwemer armor looked. I mean, that's just boss armor. Uh, it's just <clears throat> no other way to, s nothing else to say about it, that, uh, that armor looks boss. I mean, technically, what the heck was that? I hope that was a physics glitch. Might have been. Ho! Oh, okay. Um, they appear to need some um, tactical assistance, maybe. By which I mean I need to be not where. Ah. Ah! Wrong keys. Yeah. That, um, that's a Cyclops. Yeah, you guys can go have fun with that guy. Skyrim Warriors. <gasps> a cape. Yes. I kind of want the helmet. Oh. Ah. Bowie. Um. Do I have, how heavy is that? That's 44 pounds. Oh my god. Okay, nope, you can keep that. However, can I put the cape on with... Uh... Oh! Okay, there's a Skyrim faction. I was not aware of this. However... I don't know where that... Big guy's gone. But I did see him kill some... Killed somebody else. Where did it go? Where'd the corpse go? I do kind of like the faction cloaks. I think that's the body I want. Yes, it is. All right, let's be stealthy in, just in case. A Skyrim Crusader, you say? Redguard spiked mace. Oh. Oh man, now I want. Now I need to work out how I get. Better with the Skyrim faction, cause oh, it was a giant. Ha. Okay. And oh look, another Skyrim Crusader with no weapon. A ball mace. Okay. A worn steel shield. All right. Well, that's fine. Uh, where'd my? There he is. Gotta catch up with that dude. Don't care about that guy. That guy can go play with the giants for all I care. Actually, that would be funny. See him go play with the giants and get splatted. This is the road to Bruma, by the way. Uh, this would actually be much easier had I gone ahead and uh, put in the effort to hijack a horse. Whoa, hijack a horse. Uh, three is our map button. And four is our map button. Yeah. But yeah, the, the road splits here. I think if he's going north, I can make it without him. I think I can see the city from the crossroads up here. But we'll see in a second anyway. Uh, Imperial City. Bruma's this way. Yeah, I can see the towers from here. Let's see which way this guy goes. If you go into... I kind of wish I had binoculars. If I had the telekinesis spell, I could tell. Yep, he's headed for Bruma. We'll stick with him. 
He walked up the road. Or up the hill, just to be ahead of us. What a jerk. That's fine. Um, you know, put my weapons away so I don't... Otherwise I look like a do a doofus, but, you know. As we have seen, Cyrodiil is pretty freaking dangerous if you don't have a weapon. Uh, and a heavily armored assault companion. Or somebody who's walking with you who's apparently pretty tough. Um, I also could use a spell to allow me to heal other people. You know, just something simple. Touch range. Just zzz, here, feel better. It's one of the few spells you can cast that doesn't make them hostile. Uh, I don't know. He's not a companion. I could probably recruit him if I really wanted to, but, you know, I am stealthy thief ninja rogue um, wizard. So, wildlife stables. Now here, I can get a horse. Um, sort of. It takes a little bit of doing, and you bit. Inside and talk to the trees you want to help. Okay. Um, he does go to sleep eventually. Uh, he goes and sleeps inside, which is good because then I can uh, slip out and acquire a horse. Uh, Patrine, hello. Are you looking for a horse? The Wild Eye Stables have the best paid horses in Cyrodiil. Indeed. Buy a horse? Rumors paid horses are the toughest in Cyrodiil. You can only buy them from me. Actually, I'm pretty sure that's true. That uh... Oh, I can't afford it. Are you certain? Okay. It's like 2,000 gold or something. They're not They're not cheap. Uh, but yeah, the paint horses have the highest... If I recall correctly, it's the paint horses that have the highest health. Uh, the black horses from Leowin. It is the home of the black horse courier. Uh, hello, warning to travelers and citizens of Bruma. Uh, unusual sightings of Skyrim bandit clans in County Bruma. Uh, erratically and without organization. Ha! Is under central command. Uh, Rangers and patrols are searching. Plus, there's, you know, all the giant. I've read an official warning post in Bruma. The captain of the guard, Bird, has issued a call to the citizens of the town. He warns them against the recently heightened activity of Skyrim bandit clans. Interestingly, he notes that their level of organization seems out of the ordinary. They usually act without coordination. Perhaps I can find more information about the reasons for their increase in attacks and their greater level of organization. Oh, good. Yep. Where are, um, you know what we're not going to be doing? We're not going to be doing that very, for quite some time. Until, you know, level 30 or something. So, welcome to Skyrim. Welcome to Bruma. It's cold. This is, you know, Skyrim in a nutshell. It's freaking cold. Uh, what are we looking for? Not that guy. Uh, that's for later. Maybe. Uh, probably, but maybe. Yep. Uh, hammer and axe. Hello. I'd like to go to the hammer and axe. I have some stuff that want, needs some selling because. Guilty. You need armor or weapons. You will repair. Come to hammer and axe. Sweet. Yep. His face doesn't actually look bad. It's the seam that's the issue. Murder. Can I interest you in? Um, a slight haggle. And I would like to sell, um, sell the boots. Yes. I don't think that haggling actually affected the price he's paying, but you know what? That's fine. It's some gold. Uh, wolf pelts I think I can use for Thank something. You. See you next time. You. Yes, indeed. we be seeing you. Um. The only thing more wooden than the faces in Oblivion were the greetings. Um, we'll get to the mage skills shortly. But first... You can't actually pass through... Oh, I guess... I guess somebody fixed the collision meshes then, because I thought you couldn't pass through that gap. By the way. Maybe it's this one. Nope, you can. Who 
Who's... I, you know what? I don't want to know. I will worry about it later when I am not... What level are we? We are currently... Level 1. When I am not level 1... I could do it that way. Haha! -ha. So now I have two new spells. Um, this lets me cast Frost Shield on myself, which will consume quite a lot of my mana. I might not actually have enough mana for that. I have just enough of Magicka. Quite a lot of my Magicka. Uh, Protect is amazing. Protect is just beyond. Incredibly useful because that's 10% off the damage I take, and since I've been taking a lot of damage. Uh, speaking of which, I should probably I'm trying to press I for inventory. Should pro probably not put on the half a pair of pants, but oh, I don't actually, ah, I know why. I, incidentally, uh, is this, this is not it, it's over here, I think, nope, uh, where is House of Guy, Ungar's house, right, so, um, Ungar is not home, okay, so, uh, if we go to our magic tab, spells that affect in this 74%, this costs 27 magicka. If we come over here and go to um, these and just take our helmet off, are we not wearing a helmet? There, there's our helmet. This is now 27 per 27 magicka, but spell effectiveness 84 percent. Which I thought that was a f magicka cost. What, I, what armor am I still wearing? Uh, shield? Spell effectiveness, 100%. So, uh, oh, I see this is base magic at cost. So it would now cost exactly 27%. Which is why, when you're wearing armor, all your spells cost more. Uh, we're going to leave this on, like this, because we are about to go and locate Angar. Hello. Oh! Haha! -ha, here's the man I, I want to see. I do. Uh, sell shit. I do. I'm gonna sell a brass ring. Yes. I think I can move this up. Here, I want to sell those. Uh, I think that I you can, can keep. I do, attack. however, then want. Oh, that's expensive. I, shouldn't sell it. I want to buy, buy those back. And the reason I want to buy those back is now I have a, um, not fenced, but uh, laundered set of things I can wear. Uh, novice Olympic, I will. Uh. See, the trick is for best effect, That's don't get. Oh, I should be haggling. Uh, I think I can get, get away with that. Yeah, Mandrake Root I need to sell, That's more than I'd use and then buy back, because Mandrake Root is entirely too valuable to I not have. Cheap, but I know you won't yeah, be quiet. Drive yeah, uh, cheese wedges we can get a keep, those we That's can sell. Any anything that is marked as stolen will count toward the I think I can move uh, amount of gold fenced. I don't. Ah, no, stop it. Now, what I should do is go and sneak into somebody's house. I think I can move this item. Okay. Yes. Shut up. 
I'm certain there's a mod for mod to shut him up. I have to would like to probably need to go find it. Cheese wedges we can deal with shortly. Exquisite hourglass. Yes. Exquisite quill. Anything which can be sold to him is not only weight from our inventory, which is, you know, kind of precious at the moment. Yes, yes, you're fine. Shh. Just take the stuff. No, uh, we'll keep the un that ru ruby. I think I can move this. An excellent bargain. Right. The I quill we can I use. The repair hammer I think we can just use up. Oops. That yes, and yes. I like to have either I one of something or more than one of something. Got anything else? I'm glad. Okay. Jorinder? Arnora and Jorinder were once a happy couple, but that's over now. I hear that he took all of their money and stashed it after he committed a robbery. Huh. He was gonna skip town on Arnora, but got arrested before making good on his escape. Now she has no money left at all, poor thing. Huh. I don't recall that quest off the top of my head, it, although it seems Got familiar. Property. Uh, no. Uh, I want out of the conversation, Hello, thank you. Uh, right, so if we go over here, we go to our Limbics. We can grab our cheese wedges. And potato, and I think it's add corn to the mix? No. I know what it, was, what it is we need. And we can't find it here. Alright. Uh, what was the other thing I was going to use? Ah, the repair hammer. There we go. Used up the, our hammer. The other stuff isn't too badly damaged. Reached my goal. Fenced over 50 gold worth of goods. I should go see Armand. He might have something. Oh boy. Which means we'd have to go We'd have to go. I might. There we go. Stop. Which means we would have to go immediately back to the Imperial City. Um, yeah, about that. It's a long walk. Uh. Should we throw away this? There we go. Let's slip into this guy's place. Uh, do you have anything that can be. Mi it can be acquired. It's, you know, not nailed down. Ooh, gold. Uh, I don't want your shoes, thanks. Oh, I think this is the house I wanted. I think... I'm almost certain this is the house I wanted, actually. Uh, no. Tab, thank you. Like that. Oh. Close up the barrels when you're done with them, genius. Doesn't actually make any difference, but. Hey, look, gallopers. There we go. I don't remember this place having a basement in vanilla. Then again. Ooh, what's on the. Eh. He's useful for something, although I don't remember what off the top of my head. Uh, check his barrels. No. Although, take all that. Take that. Can make more potions out of it. Uh, vegetables? Yeah, we can take that. Master Thief. I got all the vegetables I wanted, and none of the... Uh, I don't really want a blue-green outfit. I got all the vegetables I wanted, and... Why is your side door locked harder than your, e than your front door? Jiril's house. There we go. Slip in here. Probably 
don't need the sword out, thanks. I don't want a watermelon. There we are. Uh, Ferd Greaves. No, thank you. And you can keep your iron tonto. Uh, to be honest, most. Oh, there's doors there. Ha, ah, couldn't see him. Covered? Eh, we'll leave him as bread loaf. Writing kit. Oh, I have one of those. I do. Okay. Uh, it's Ongar's house. Our Nora's house. Ragnar Ragnar's house. This one's important later, although I don't remember exactly why. This is Ragnar, by the way. Yeah, there's a few of the houses that are important around here. Ah, uh, you know what? We're almost out of the episode anyway. So let's go ahead. This is the inn here, by the way. The tap and tack, which is kind of an inside joke. Originally, you were able to uh, equip your horses and ride them into open towns. And when um, they put it on the Xbox 360, it was on the 360. Anyway, when they put it on the Xbox 360, they couldn't keep the open cities thing. So, we got closed cities, and, you know, uh, you can't ride your horses in. Ooh, display cases. I like. Hello. Hello there. Are you here to join the Mage's Guild? Meet Jean, Jean Frisarek. She's kind of a lump. Yes, I'd like to join the Mage's Guild. The Guild is always accepting new members. You seem capable enough. Are you sure you want to join? I see. Ah. No, I the clicked the wrong button. Very good. You are now an associate of the Mages Guild. What a wonderful opportunity for you. Now, please keep in mind that you'll need recommendations from every local guild hall in Cyrigal before you may enter the Arcane University. I dare say my opinion might carry more weight than others, if you take my meaning. Still, all unnecessary for pity. Good luck to you. Indeed. So, about that recommendation. A recommendation? From me? Well, of course. Ramanus would naturally want my opinion, wouldn't he? This is a situation we can both benefit from, Associate. You do me a small favor, and I'll happily send along a glowing recommendation. If you can find Jaskar, I'll write the recommendation immediately. Um, okay. Apparently it skipped the t thing there. Uh, Jaskar? He's disappeared. I mean, he's really disappeared. No one here has seen him in days. Volinaro thinks maybe a spell backfired. It's not quite true, but... If someone but... from the council were to stop by and find him gone, it'd look bad for me. I can't accept that. Talk to the mages here and see what you can find out. If you can make Jaskar reappear, you'll have your recommendation. Absolutely. Piece of cake. Where's Volinaro? Come find me as soon as you've located Jaskar. Hello. Volinaro, at your service. Need a spell? Need an item recharged? Need a witty practical joke played on someone? I can handle it all. He is a very creepy high elf. Um, first of have all, buy spells. I'm sure there's something you can do. There are great spells here. They are incredibly expensive, but they are very good. Bound Sword is nice. Um, superior Life Detection. Uh, spark is actually not that expensive. Can I haggle you down just a bit? Uh, yes, because Spark is very handy. Snowball, less so. Uh, we aren't going to... I would desperately love Open Lock. And telekinesis. Hmm. Telekinesis is one of those very interesting spells. You actually want a very uh, no time but incredibly long ranged one for a reason later. Uh, yeah. So that's that. Uh, Jaskar? Hmm. 
Oh, Jean has you looking for him, does she? I'm afraid you're not going to find him easily. I think a, a, a spell backs him. That's probably it. If you can tell he's not telling the entire truth, you're perfectly correct. With all due respect to our wonderful <laughs> leader, she couldn't cast her way <laughs> into that place of spell. It's insulting that we're here, working for her, when she knows nothing. Indeed. She's managed to butter up the right people just enough to keep her position, and there's little we can do about it. Indeed. But we have our ways of coping with the situation. Hmm. Okay. I'm... Yeah. So. All right. Goodbye. Uh, you. My name is Selene. Yes, indeed. May What's I for sale? My fine way. I have the apprentice one, right? Oh, it's yeah. She only sells the apprentice calcinator, which is kind of annoying. One hundred seventy-five gold for it. But yeah, she's got pretty good potions here. Uh, you don't have the thing I was hoping for, hoping you did. Oh well. Uh, yep, you don't have it. Bandage. I think that's some. Um... Alright, so there's a couple of easy ways to locate the chap we need. Um, I realize we're slightly over time now. Open the door with Mage's Guild Key. Yeah, Mage's Guild Key lets us into all the little back areas. Now. Where is the person we want to talk to? He's a. Banded excerpt from Vampires of Vamp. Wow. Okay. Oh, the light of dawn. Uh. Very first stuff. Sunlight. Devil Dwarven Forge as the sun rose. Yeah, it's essentially a very large, very angry. Um. Anti-vampire sword, yes. Light through darkness. Found a book. You mentioned the light of dawn, a weapon of legend and bane of vampires. It possibly rests here on Cyrodiil in a dungeon called Mornal Horst. If the information in the book is correct, a mighty vampire lord is currently draining the power from the light of dawn through dark incantation. Perhaps I should investigate this further, although it sounds like a very dangerous deal in which to meddle. Awesome. Ah. Uh, and go. Ah. Okay. That's not... Wolf Queen Volume 3. Ooh, Illusion Skill. Oh, I don't actually need to take it. Uh, ooh. All the way around. Good. There we are. Open that. Uh, there's literally nothing in here that I want. Actually, you're kind of expensive. Uh, folding cloth we don't need. Uh, excuse me. Ah, Jaskar. You'll ruin everything. And full an art. No, I want. I want to talk to what you. Do you want? Okay. Hmm. I'm a. Okay. Uh. Ooh, ogre's teeth, pearl. Uh, I take the pearl. Ah, that's kind of interesting. I think because it's not a. Uh, vanilla item, so they forgot to make it a problem. Uh, desk, burial, maybe. No, thank you. No. Ah. Okay. Fine. Right. Ah. Okay. Well, I guess we're going back to the Imperial City. Um, hang on. Is that you? No, because, okay, because they aren't guards. There's not, nobody took my stuff. Uh, Alright, well. We're gonna take the shortcut this time, because, uh, yeah. So, this has been Let's Play Oblivion with Triax 2 and Seriath. 
I will see you guys next time. Bye.